An out of control human caused fire continues to burn in Moab. It's already destroyed several homes and it continues to eat away at the dry brush across the area. Reporter John Madden joins us now live in Moab. So, John, I know that you actually toured the scorched areas. What's that damage look like down there? Well, pretty bad because Colorado is not the only state dealing with these fire concerns and dry conditions as those issues have reached Utah and more specifically Moab after this brush fire destroys eight homes in this area, including two sheds and one local shop, leaving behind a bunch of debris looking like this and causing residents living in the area to have to regroup. Now, this was a brush fire that spread very quickly through dry vegetation a few blocks away from downtown Moab. The Moab Fire Department believes this fire was started by someone and are hoping to get more information on that in the future. The fire burned nine acres and isn't expected to spread, but is 20% contained at this point, according to the Utah Division of Forestry, Fire, and State Lands. One good piece of news in this whole situation is that no injuries to these residents were reported. Now, many got to tour the area Wednesday afternoon to see the devastation, which showed entire houses burned to the ground which was a tough sight to see. One of the other realities of humans is we forget all too quickly. We all come together and we have a press conference and we have a conversation and we talk about what we're going to do. We have to sustain this. This pain is going to be with us for weeks and months to come. Now, due to this fire, expect tough fire restrictions to become even tougher to avoid having something like this happen once again. Now, if you're interested in helping those impacted by the fire, Moab City Council says you can visit the Moab City website or the Moab City Facebook page for donations and volunteer opportunities. So be sure to stay updated on those. Definitely a tough situation for those people living here in this area. Reporting live in Moab, I'm John Madden, News for Utah. Yes.